Alright, so I am back at uh, the Durant's gym with uh, Jackson M3 Chaoke uh, fighting for the IBO flyweight world title. Um, Jackson, uh, it's been a, a long career for you, a good career, and you, you're getting a good opportunity here to go fight in England. Yeah, it's, uh, thanks for having me again. I don't know which number is it now, huh? but there's a lot, you know. Thank you for having me on the SA Boxing Talk. Uh, it's an opportunity, you know, opportunity that uh, I've been waiting for. So I'm going to grab it with both hands. Uh, when it comes to preparations, I've been preparing like from mid-November, uh, the whole of December, I mean Christmas Day. On the first, I was here, 31st, I was here, you know. Uh, it's, been, it's been long, you know, I've been training for long now. I can feel my body is even a bit tired now. I need like some rest days, you know. But uh, we're ready. Come the 27th, I will become a world, uh, IBU world champion. Looking at your opponent, Kademi, he's uh, 10 wins, one loss, obviously has a little bit of less experience than you. Um, how do you look at him as an opponent? Look, I've watched uh, two fights, maybe three, four times. Because I don't usually watch my opponents too much. But uh, what I've seen is good. But when I looked at his profile, I saw there was no amateur background. And then I saw that uh, he's been campaigning as a junior bantam. He won the Intercontinental as a junior bantam, which means he's moving down, you know. And the people that he has fought, I think he fought the same guy three times. Uh, they drew two times, he won, uh, the other guy won uh, one time. So that's the fight I've been can get my hands on, on on YouTube. I don't remember the guy's name, but uh, watching those uh, two fights, or good fights, but uh, I don't think he, he's got the tools to beat me. You know, even if he, he's good, I'll definitely find a way to beat him. The, the last time you went abroad, uh, you traveled to Russia and got a successful result there. I uh, won, won a WBC title as well while you were there. Um, does this fight feel you know, competitive in the, in, the, in the such that it is a world title, but you're going to be going to England, so maybe there will be a lot of things against you? You know, uh, I look at it, it's going to be competitive, maybe first few rounds. Uh, things that are against me, I think uh, you can take me anywhere, Hayden. My confidence doesn't change, you know. I know what I'm capable of doing in the ring, you know. People can say whatever they want, they can talk about my age, they can, you know, say no, this, 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 and that, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, it's only me and uh, Kadimi in the ring, you know. Uh, so, there's no one to help him. Uh, even if they can tie dirty tricks and all that, uh, I believe I'm a, a, a strong-minded person, you know. Uh, I'm where I am now because of uh, uh, the attitude I have towards myself, not towards uh, other people, you know. But uh, definitely, I'm coming back with that title, no matter what, you know, I believe in myself, you know. Uh, I'm going to win, you know. And I saw you brought in some fresh sparring partners as well, just to keep you live. One of them being uh, the young uh, Zimbabwean uh, strawweight, uh, Bevan Sibanda. Um, how's it been going for you, the sparring and everything? It's, uh, it's been going very well, you know, I'm, fan, I'm, I'm fond of uh, Sibanda, you know. Every time he fights, I watch him, you know, very good boy, you know, good skills, good speed, you know. They got uh, most similar styles with uh, that guy. There's some things that are picked up, you know, but uh, it's been good sparring. But it was not only his, uh, Sibanda, you know, I, I, I always pull in uh, Chabalala, you know, and this time I pull in... Uh, I think three amateurs from uh, Tembisa, one is, is in the national team, uh, Tembankosi, the other one is a pro, but he's only got one fight. I think he fought on uh, Boxing 5, uh, what you call that, Boxing 5 tournament, you know, he's only got one fight, one win, and the other one also is an amateur, but he hasn't won uh, any medals, you know, but uh, very good uh, amateurs. Uh, the reason why I brought up uh, these amateurs is because Kadimi also has got a similar style as uh, amateurs, you know. So sparring, I've been good, you know. And uh, what, what's changed at this point in your career? Because you did try, well, I think it wasn't a, a you were never going to stay at uh, Superfly, but I mean, you did try, go up and have a fight there. Uh, and now you've come back to Flyweight where you belong. Um, you know, wh wh where to from here? Are you just going to stick it out at Flyweight? You know, first of all, the reason I went to Junior Bantam was because I had to fight the uh, Kafu rematch, you know. 
That's uh, something that I, feel, I felt that I needed to do, not only for the friends and all of that, that, that was for, for myself, you know. So when I, when I fought Junior Bantam, I never struggled to wait. And then when I was sitting the other day, I was doing an interview with you, I told you, I say, when I was an amateur, I was fighting 51. That was a flyweight for amateur. So I still believe that if I can, if a, a, junior, a, fly, a junior bantam and flyweight, there's not big difference, you know, getting an opportunity again in junior bantam, I'll still fight junior bantam, you know. Even if it's overseas, even if it's here, I'll still fight. You know, I, if the opportunity is there, I'll go fight junior bantam. My, my, I'm still open to it. All right, and so maybe maybe this, this next one would be a bit of flattery for you, uh, former... Um, teammates of yours, uh, Frank Sotomella actually called you out in a press conference. I know it's not a realistic thing, maybe it's one for you know his future um, that he's aspiring to get to, but what did you make of that call out? You know, I'm dealing with big fishes now, you know, I don't talk with the small, 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 small boys. Some people are trying to make names for themselves, you know, it's okay, but you know, dragging other people you know there's ratings there. There's other people that you can call. You want, now he's number four, five, somewhere there, five, you know. There's number one there. There's number four. There's number three. There's number two. So how special are you that you're from number five and then you need to fight the, the champion, you know. You have to have something special. Frank doesn't have anything special, you know. Well, knockout is knockout, you know. How you knock someone, you, you close your eyes, you throw a punch, you land, you knock them, you know. So Frank is Frank, he's got what he's got against me, you know, he wants what I have. You know, I don't even know what to say to him, that's why, you know, I just keep quiet. I'm dealing with bigger things now, you know. SA is just there, it's my insurance, you know. If he's going to get his 10, he needs to end it, you know. If he ends it, and I'll give it to you. All right, so I'm going to say this, right? So say you go ahead, you win the RBO world title, you say you're keeping the SA as insurance. What do you do with the SA once you become a world champion? But I know the rule says uh, if you are a world champion and you are a South African champion, automatically oh, you, you vacate. vacate the yeah. SA, you know. I'll be happy. No, that's what I want, you know. Look at the uh, flyweight division. It's stuck now, you understand? Who am I going to fight? Even that uh, Frank, he doesn't qualify. I don't think he, I think it's, it's disrespectful for me to defend against Frank, even if he was number one. What is he? What is he? What is Frank done? What? Who has he fought? Frank. Has he fought anyone that is rated? He's never fought anyone that is rated. There's guys that I beat from Eastern Cape. You got uh, Moshe. You got that uh, boy from KZN, Jabulu, Butelezi. Eh? You got uh, the one that I beat now, uh, Kotani. You think Frank stands a chance? What do you think? I don't know. Why is he not calling all those guys? To prove himself. Everyone deserves a chance. I'm not denying him the chance, you know? But you need to prove yourself. And you don't prove yourself on social media putting sunglasses, you know, indoors. What the fuck is that? You know? Me, I know sunglasses, we put them outside, you know, for the sun. That's why you call them sunglasses, you know? So, let's see what the future holds. But if he works his way up, I don't have a problem fighting him, you know? I believe everyone deserves a chance. So let's see what the future holds, you know? But now I'm not gonna waste my time with the people like Frank you know I'm frying bigger fish now All right, let's go back to your fight really quickly going to England have you been there before as an amateur has to have you is this the first time you'll be traveling there yeah first time I've traveled a lot of countries you know uh, first time I've been to England I'm looking forward to it you know a year is cold there but uh, I'm looking forward to the atmosphere you know being in England, you know, I'm very excited. I've never been to England. Who knows, I might stay and not come back. <laughs> I'm only joking, but uh, uh, it's exciting for me, you know. Especially fighting in England, you know. 
Uh, most of the time when I was growing up, I used to like watching uh, Chris Eubank Sr. Yes. You know, that's one of the guys that I, I used to watch, you know. You know the atmosphere there, uh, when they start singing and all that in the big crowds, you know. So I'm happy for, for the opportunity, you know. I feel like you would have been a social media star in England as well, just because of your personality. I feel like it's a little bit hidden here in South Africa because we're not really like out there. It's more of a, you know, a humble type of boxing scene. So how do you think you would have gone if you, if you lived in England? Hey, I don't know, Aiden. Maybe I was not going to be a boxer if I was born in England, you know? Maybe I was going to be born in a rich family, become soft, you know? Uh, get everything for free, you know. You you'll never know. Or maybe I was going to be born in a, a, a actor's family. Or maybe I was going to be good in soccer. You don't know. English English people are very good in soccer. You know. Maybe my life would have turned out uh, in another way. But uh, I'm happy where I am. I'm happy with uh, with who, who I am. You know. But if I was born in England, maybe I wouldn't be. Here. Okay. Well, I mean, this le this leads you to, to being in the boxing world and obviously fighting for this uh, flyweight uh, world title. How do you win and um, how does it go? Uh, I think uh, first few rounds, I'm going to just analyze him. Three, four, that's who I am, you know. But uh, I think I'm going to take the fight from five, six, seven. If I have chopped him down like I planned, nine, ten, I, sh I must stop him because the last two fights I've watched with him, he intends to fade away when the rounds go up. All right. So you obviously you have your opinion on him as well. Uh, do you want to send a message to him before you step in the ring? Uh, he must come prepared, you know, Kadime. Must come prepared. You're not uh, just fighting uh, anyone, you know. You're fighting uh, M3, you know. Uh, this fight is not a, like your last fight. Uh, they bring you someone from Africa, like Tanzania, you know, you think uh, it's a walk in the park, you know. You need to earn your way to be a world champion. So let's see if you got it to come to the party. All right, fantastic, Jackson. And uh, I just wanted to wish you all the best uh, for your fights in the UK. Uh, lastly, do you have anyone you want to send a thank you or a shout out to? Oh, I'd like to send a shout out to my sponsors, you know. Everyone that supported me, everyone that, uh, especially my uh, sparring partners, you know, uh, the Malinga family, they've been there for me, like, throughout every preparation of the year, with Chabalala, you know, Piven, Sbanda, you know, uh, all these guys that I, I come with from uh, the Tembisa Boxing Club, you know, I really appreciate it. Uh, everyone that supports me, you know, everyone here in the gym, you know, that supports me, every client that I train, that motivates me, you know, thank you.